Welcome back to Hotel Renovator. Welcome back to the step back in. I just finished cleaning up the other corridor of the first floor. I think that's our special guest that we have staying here. I think he's the one that wanted to go to the basement. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, can we collect that one as well? 4,000. That, that's awfully nice. Didn't see that around the corner. Uh, let me put my crowbar away. Are you going to stand? Can I go through you? Well, I can just walk right through you. Uh, I need to go to the basement, apparently. So let's go to the, down to the ground floor first. Expected daily income is 330 bucks. I guess that's a start, considering what the hotel looks like. Uh, Sandra? Is she just going to pop out of nowhere? Or maybe she's waiting for me in the... Oh, no, never mind. There she is. Uh, she takes a second. Um, is, it, is this a phone we're using? Okay. Uh, down to the basement. Let's see what this is all about. Maybe I should have the crowbar ready. I mean, electrical hum. No. Uh, please do not turn on the light. I can see just fine. The interior is dark and damp. Just as I prefer. And what is this chest? Uh, are we talking about... Which, what, what are we talking about here? What chest are we looking for? I mean, there's a lot of stuff down here that's trash. And why do we, why is our special guest coming on down here to the basement? I, I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's an egg here, though. Another piece of candy. I guess I'll just keep looking around here. Am I supposed to go... Can I go in here? No. Empty chest, find special item. Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but that wasn't me. Open chest. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that away. So it's this one right here. Okay, so there's... I'll interact, I suppose. I found something. I don't know what. I clicked on it and... I found a memento. Uh, all right, let's empty out the chest, I suppose. Is there something else in here? I mean, that's trash. I suppose that's trash. There's a banana in here. Am I supposed to be looking for the banana? Uh, the banana disappeared with the paper. And actually, the banana's out here. That says it's trash. Maybe the dude just wants the chest. I I'm not too sure. I hope I don't accidentally delete the chest. Uh, that was some money. Is this a bellhop uniform? All right. Um, no. This chest is much more comfortable than the bed. I think I will stay here. I will pay for the room, of course. Don't fret. Thank you for your understanding. I didn't quite finish emptying that out. We killed two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in room 103. We doubled our income. I mean, I, okay. Um, <laughs> whatever, whatever works. Uh, while we're here, let me go ahead and... Well, we'll delete some of this stuff here. Uh, that's trash. It looks like a painting I could actually hang on up. But we'll get rid of some of this stuff down here while, you know, make my trips count. Uh, can I get rid of that? Uh, I don't know why I can't get rid of that rag that fell on the floor. So, right now I don't have any more of the storyline to go on right now, but maybe gotta wait like a day or so. So maybe what we'll do is try to go upstairs and take care of the lobby a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Although I don't know what I'm cleaning the basement for. No one's going to stay down here except for our strange new guest. It's a start. 
Uh, can I open this up and, and see see what he's doing in there? No, I cannot. I mean, all right, fine, whatever. All right, let's get upstairs and actually start making the lobby look a little bit better. Oh, no, actually, as I get up here, lobby, total destruction, add a microphone stand, add electric guitar, add studio lamps, add video cameras. Uh, I'm Celine from the Horizons. You might... I didn't get a chance to read that quick enough. I was too busy looking at other things. Well, all right. We'll go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit. You think I could actually, you know, clean up those rugs and actually get some cash for it? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff here. I mean, the floor doesn't look that bad, but I, it doesn't look clean, clean. Uh, how do we get rid of the cobwebs on the wall? Is that the broom? It'd be nice if we could actually hire a janitor or a maid to take care of the rooms. Although we're only on day two, so the rooms can't be that dirty. All right, let's get the broom on out here. Can I clean the walls with the broom? No, that doesn't work. So I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the crowbar back out and we'll go ahead and do that, do that. Kind of good that we got good range on the crowbar. All right, so it says add microphone stand. Add electric guitar, which seems kind of weird to put in the lobby. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and I assume this is under furniture. Place furniture. Uh, am, I, am I just to scroll all the way through here to try to find what we're looking for? This is actually three star stuff, so I don't remember leveling on up. I'm not gonna complain. I found an acoustic guitar, electric guitar. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not quite sure I get what this is going to be for. Um, we're just going to stick over here in the corner. All right, uh, studio lamps. Too bad there wasn't like a search. Uh, that'd make things a little bit easier. Alright, so there is a studio lamp. Uh, point it towards the guitar, I suppose? I mean, let's face it, this is, the lobby's not looking the best. So I'm just going to place them on down. I, this is kind of a weird thing to be adding here. Uh, let's see, no, the pet bowls, no, we don't want pet bowls. Uh, there is a microphone. So we'll put the microphone kind of facing the electric guitar. And video cameras. Is someone, we got like someone coming on in here or, or what? And why do I need two video cameras? I guess we're about to find out.
What the heck is going on here? Of course, I didn't get it, I didn't get it to read the whole. Um, yeah, <laughs> the crowbar. I didn't get a chance to read the whole dialogue that showed up. I, I think I got about two lines in, so maybe that's what this was all about. But this, this just seems kind of weird. Um, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, apparently now I'm going to destroy the lobby. Uh, it says to get rid of all the trash, but didn't I get rid of all the trash? Or are we counting trash? I guess it's this leftover trash I haven't collected yet. Well, it's kind of good that we're doing the lobby because it's the next thing I did want to do. Uh, we'll get rid of your chair, Sandra. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this flooring. Okay, so that's like different paneling, I, I suppose. Can get the big square going. Well, the lobby is rather big. So this is going to take me a little time to demolish the walls, the ceiling, and everything else. So, let me do the smashy, smashy stuff, and I'll bring it back, and then uh, we'll start making this uh, lobby look a little bit more appealing. Uh, or, or, or we're going to go back to the singers now. A stick of dynamite? Excuse me? Is this supposed to be like an ad for our hotel? Or... Excellent job, my friend. You truly are a master of disaster. This video is going to rock. Um, okay. Well, I, I guess they demolished a the whole lobby for me. You better start renovating the lobby right away. Uh, Sandra, what are you actually doing here other than, you know, you welcomed two of our guests. Um, that was kind of... Video clip payment. I got paid $20,000 for them to video in here. Uh, you know... I, it's just best sometimes not to ask questions. Um, what am I sweeping up here? It says cleaning. Uh, was it behind the desk? Oh, yeah, right here. All right, now we got to cover the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. Well, uh, does, the chandel does the chandelier stay? Is that is that trash or, or what here? I don't know. All right, um... Okay, so the ceiling is actually considered a wall. Uh, what options do we have? We have other wall covering, ceramic wallpaper patterns. I, I never, I was never a fan of wallpaper. Ceramics. What does that look like? Can I not reach the ceiling? From here? I cannot reach the ceiling. I can reach the wall. So you're not going to let me put that maybe on the ceiling. Uh, nope, you're not going to let me do that either. I can paint the ceiling, though. All right. I mean, that's fine. Uh, nothing too extreme. Uh, maybe I should pick out a wall pattern first. Problem is, the wall is like, you know, it's, it's a big... Do I want the wall to look all the same? Probably not. Uh, let's go with like a tile wall behind the front desk. I guess ceramics is where I want to go for that. I don't think you want nothing too spazzy back there. Oh, so now I can just one click? I don't have to do the whole wall. Well, that makes life a little bit easier. All right, and then, of course, we'll just do that. 
And you know what? Let's go ahead and do that, that, and that. All right, and then the other walls uh, maybe go with a paint. Um... Oh, but I can't cover the whole wall with the paint? Oh, there you go. Q and Eve to uh, change the tools. Let's see what that looks like. It says olive brown, but it doesn't look that brown brown. Olive being more of a green color. I don't know. Well, that's much easier to paint when you just got to do it like that. Did I get that whole wall? I think I did. All right, I'm just going to go with this color here. In this room. Problem is, that's going to go like upstairs. Uh, I think this room here will make a different color. Right, I want that to match there and there. I don't know, Sandra, what do you think? I'm not sure either. Uh, let's go and start doing some other colors. Uh, that does not look like uh, the color I want right there. That's definitely not what we need. Oyster white we went with before. Yeah, those colors are way off for me. Maybe I should have stuck with oyster white <laughs> inside the windows. Cement. Sandra, I was just getting into my groove. Uh, so, yeah, I'm having the walls all painted the oyster white. Uh, I was getting the inside of the windows down and, well, I, I was starting to get some of the other walls done. Uh, but of course, you know, Sandra can't handle, you know, the electricity. I saw the panel myself. And it's back on. Good job. Well, why did it go out to begin with? I mean, what's this guy up to? Have no idea. All right, so how are we looking here? So 66% of the walls and ceilings are done. I guess that's not looking too bad. Uh, once we get some like paintings and such up, the contrast between that tile and the paint. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but we'll kind of go with it for now. We can always change it as we move along. Uh, I was getting ready to kind of try to find something to put up along the trim up here separating the first floor from the ground floor so um maybe i want to copy that all right and let's see now i'm going to go ahead and I should have painted that wall, that color there. And I didn't. Yeah, let me get back to work here. So many different colors to choose from. Well, of course, I couldn't find the same color that I was going with. So I ended up changing it to a different color anyways. But I think this one looks a little bit better than the other one. Uh, it was olive brown, but I couldn't find it in the color charts. I was scrolling for a little while, and then I saw this color. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's a better match to the tile behind the front desk. 
Um, I still need to do some painting here. Especially around the trim of the elevators. Uh, let's see if I can find that lovely, lovely oyster white. Yeah, I wish there was like presets or um, you could like uh, point at a wall and hit copy. And it'll just copy the pattern that's on the wall. So, you know, if you're going from one pattern to another, it's like, yo, I do like the way that looks. Uh, you look at a wall and it's hard to, it's like, what color did I choose from? Because there are so many options, which is great, but it just gets it uh, kind of confusing when you start trying to figure out um, where you are or where you were in the whole scheme of things. Uh, I think painting the walls, we're all done. Um, one of the guests lost his wallet and he needs some help searching for it. Apparently a big sum of money is at stake. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not busy anything. Uh, although I got 48 minutes in real time to find it. Okay, so it's not a big rush. Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and now we need to go to fork coverings. Wooden flooring or ceramic tile? I think wood flooring where we come in might be a good thing. And let's see if we go like... Like this. Is this uh, close enough? I don't want to select the whole floor. I want to see how this looks. Well, this piece right here does not want to change. Okay, what I want to do is... Oh, that doesn't line up? Oh, that kind of... All right, okay, we can get around this, I think. I don't want to click on the whole floor because I don't want the whole floor to be wood flooring. Let's get this on down here. And once we get the floor done, and then we'll go looking for this uh, person's wallet. I mean, it can't be in too many places. I mean, the, we don't have that much of the hotel open. I know one thing. I'm glad those uh, eggs that we're finding give us a lot of cash now because <laughs> to get the hotel up and going we are going through it pretty darn quick all right we are going to go with this to here So much of the floor to cover. If I was covering the whole floor, it'd be a little bit easier, but I don't want to do that. I think I want to put carpet down in the lounge. I don't know if that's a lounge to our right or not. There's a door way behind us that leads somewhere. That could be the lounge or dining room. I have no idea. And I definitely want to get this all down because trying to find the exact paneling I put down, again, would not be fun trying to find that. Uh, let me come over to here. We have moved on to day three, though. I think I got all the tiling I need down, so... Actually, no, I need to do... This strip right here. Also... I'm going to keep this tile open in case I miss something here. Some throw rugs on this later on would not be too bad. Alright, now let's switch over to carpet. 
And I mean, we got a lot of gray in here. I don't want to match the flooring too much. You know what? This may not be that. Ooh, that's uh, that's too white. So we kind of got like a gray, a uh, gray, sorry, a green wall. This may not be a bad mixture here. And again, like I said before, my decorating skills are not the greatest. I just go, just go with it. But I know one thing, it looks better than it did uh, 20 minutes ago, right? With all the crap lying around here. Also, we lost a fireplace that was over here as well. I think there was a fireplace here. Didn't look at it too hard, but it looked like a, a fireplace. $600 for carpeting. We I mean, look at it from this angle. It doesn't really show the pattern that much. But I guess that's not too bad. I would like to get the front desk fixed on up. Uh, let's go ahead and lobby, find wallet. Go to lobby, find is, is the wallets in the lobby. Yeah, so this is the lounge, dining area, and bar. I hope it's not in there, because if i got to find it, it may take me a moment. Um, can't be in here. I would assume this is the office. Dynamite. A specially crafted mix of explosives that take care of all equipment and coverings in the room without causing structural damage. Handle with care. So instead of like demolishing it, ooh, piece of candy. Can, can I can, can I not grab that? Looks like a a letter, another letter. I can't touch that either. And that is for I guess the bellhop. So if I use a stick of dynamite, that just clears out the whole area, like the the video kind of did, I assume. I mean, dynamite is nice. It, it'll get rid of everything in one clean sweep. Service unavailable. Um, can I go in here? No, I cannot. I don't know if this is considered the lobby. I mean, maybe the wallet is lost in here because, well, I hope they're not eating from here. Now I know why they give us 50 minutes to find it because it could be a real problem. Do I want to use for $1,000? You know, we we got to try it to see what it's all about, right? I think it said, did it say 1000 or 10000 Requirements, progress, and story. Oh, so I can, even though they used it, I, even though you're showing it to me, I can't use it myself. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll leave the desk here for now. I'll probably walk past it twice by now, this uh, lovely little wallet. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Wallet. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... That's the lost wallet. Okay. <laughs> Good job finding the wallet. What shall we do with it? Uh, return it. Good job finding the wallet. What shall we do with it now? Uh, didn't I say return it? I mean, you, you could have taken care of that, you sister? Found it. Or, Great. I think she's our sister. Are we done now so I can go back to doing basic designs and stuff? Um, you want four couches down here? That's asking quite a lot, I think. Uh, four couches, eight chairs, four tables. Well, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and do some furnishing. Let's see what I can get done. Uh, probably going to look like total crap when I get done. No, that's a bed. No, we, we said couch. We're going to start with the couches first. Well, just as you get going, Sandra can't help herself to tell me what to do next. So, I need to kind of go take care of apparently a cracked pipe. Uh, but let me go ahead. I want to place down two more shelving units. Uh, these would not look too bad if I could change the color of them. I wish they would snap to the same height as the other one, so uh, ballpark it, send it home. Uh, almost got it done. I got like two dressers put on down. So, yeah, we got the chairs put on down. Had to put down eight of them. Uh, four couches. Got two of them in here, and of course two of them out here. And uh, we got some tables in front of the couches. Some end tables. I need to change the color of those. I forgot to do that. Uh, but for now, they look okay. Uh, but I got to go to room 103 and check on a cracked pipe. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go up to room 103 and take care of that. And see what's going on upstairs. And then see if I can come back out down to the lobby and fix that. At least the lobby is looking a lot better. Uh, whoop, 101... 103. Crack pipe. Basement. Crack pipe. Turn the valve. That's not, now you're going to make me go down to the basement. Why did you make me come up here? I didn't get to see where the problem was. Uh, did, that, did that say that before? Go to the basement first? I thought it said room 103, but... Uh, okay, that took a second to register. I'm like, what happened to my floor? I did see what the valve was. I think this might be it. So, one valve will turn off water, apparently, to the entire hotel. So, I better get this fixed ASAP. Now it just says clean the room. It looks like the floors are taking a second to register. Um, are, are you the handyman? I think you might need some help. Uh, wait a second, clean the room? Doesn't sweep as well as it did before. Um, do I need to go in here to clean it? Oh, it, it caused dirt everywhere. It's fixed. Great job, both of you. Both of you, everything's back to normal at the hotel. Um, yeah, who, I don't. Do we hire someone that I don't know about? Eight 
Andrano, Andrano, I, I think we'll call him Andrano. Uh, all right, uh, we'll we'll leave him be. In room one hundred three. Uh, the corridor. Uh, that's another job to do, but uh, not today. I want to see if I can finish up at least decorating the lobby itself. Wait for everything to load on in. Alright, so that's not looking too bad. Wait, covering. Uh, we did cover everything. Unless something didn't register on in. Don't make me redo this whole floor over because unless it's not... Is it counting this? No, this is not considered the lobby because I go in here. Oh, there it goes. So I had to leave the room and come back in because apparently when I came off the elevator, nothing was loaded in. So now that it's loaded... Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we're getting there. Um, all right, so we just got the two cabinets or dressers I suppose to put on in uh, let's see what we got here I'm trying to go for the better stars so this is all one star stuff and here's some two star stuff uh, where would I put something like this though not there I, I want something smaller, I guess. I really don't have really the room to do some of this stuff. Uh, that is small enough. Let me go ahead and... Oh, uh, what I'm not doing is hitting tab again. Getting down to that color. That's pretty darn close. Um, let me put one here. Uh, let me just go ahead and do this. All right, so what I want to do is... No, I don't want to do that. I want to sell that and sell that. Pick that up and we'll put this over here like that. And now it wants me to put up like lights, paintings, and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? I think that is a good start. But I want to go ahead and put those tables back in. So after you, after I initially do what it asked me to do, you can delete things and it doesn't backtrack. So yeah, if you don't like the looks of things, uh, just go ahead and delete them and then go back later on. I'm trying to remember what the heck I had there now, and I don't remember. I think they were coffee tables. As I scroll on through, trying to find... No, they weren't coffee tables. All right, we'll just uh, put matching ones that we have on the other one. I mean, that's a start. When do I get to re... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know how that got in there, but now it's in there and I got to sell it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when can we repair the front desk? Our guest, loveliest, stylist, interior. The, the more the lobby's quality level increase, the more likely you'll get additional money earn star rating equals plus five chance of a tip requirements finished lobby functionality hotel ranking one star so i think once i finish the, uh taking care of the lobby here we might be able to repair this right here uh which we're getting kind of close i i, I want to use that stick of dynamite uh, or sticks um it'd be kind of interesting to use that but we got to progress there uh engineering certificate uh, we got ourselves a hammer. 
Uh, I didn't have to go back downstairs and turn the water back on, or did I do that? No, I don't remember coming back on downstairs and, and taking care of that, but... Um, so we got a guest staying inside our our chest over here. Um, <laughs> I hope he's comfortable. Knock and knock anyone home? Nah. But if we go up to the lobby, I don't know if you saw that. If we go into our lobby, ground, well, ground floor... Uh, we're at a 2.2 rating right now, and we got plenty more to do here. And if we go up to the next floor here, I want to see if our repair guy is still stuck in the shower. Or did he disappear? No, he disappeared. So, yeah, when, it looks like uh, when I go into different rooms, it takes a while for everything to load on in, and then we're fine. I'm still... Uh, Still wish I could have got this room to a two-star, but for some reason I couldn't quite do that. Even though I was adding a lot of two-star stuff in. But you know what? After you know, after I did it last episode and I looked at it, I'm like, this room looks really, really bad. It's not as bad as I originally thought it was. I mean, yeah, the red room is a little bit too much too much for me, but that's what the guests wanted, red and black. Maybe not a red wall, but that's what they got. Let me go ahead and close that door. Destroy the corridor and that's that's another job for another day uh, But I did get all the trash cleaned out of there But uh, I'm happy the way the lobby came along and I'm actually glad that was the next step because I definitely wanted to clean up the lobby And we got to do that today and uh, we got started Yes, yeah, so when I come down here see where it says lobby it says the flooring and everything's not quite done if I go into here and now back into here there we go. Oh, basic design. Now it show me the two tables uh, that I need to put in. Where is that symbol? There it is. Uh, let's see. What do I want to put in here? Just a couple of tables. I just need the color to match. Hey, we have a problem. Our elevator is jammed. What do we do? Sandra, do something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> have me do everything uh, okay hang on a second here I want to make sure I get the color right um, there's one there and you know what let's throw one right there um Okay, I mean, it kind of shut in my face. I want to repair it myself. I ain't going to pay someone $500. Uh, use a crowbar to repair. That seems... So that would have... I would have paid $500 for the handyman to do that. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I think that's what we're going to end for today. Um, and there, there's the start of our lobby. Yeah, I do like the color of these walls better than that olive. I think it was olive brown was the original color. I, I'm glad I couldn't find it, and we went with this. I think this is called bottle green. So many choices, but I wish, um, if any of the developers watch this, which I probably doubt it, but if you do watch it, uh, have like a copy, uh, copy pattern. So like when we're in like a wall... All I have to do is, if I have this selected, if I, hopefully I don't paint anything back, so, um, give us like a button to copy the design that's on the wall or the floor, and it goes right to that so like we can continue with the wall um, in case we misclick on something. That'd be, that'd be really, really good uh, to have for darn sure, um, but maybe it'll come in the near future. Maybe there is one, and, and I don't know about the button yet, but anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Hotel Renovator. But until then, have a good one. Sandra, just, you know, just do something back there.